Hello, and welcome. My name is John Epstel Hefner. I am a writer and one of the associate editors of 10,000couples.com magazine. You can also find me as a contributing member of the Give Them Hope campaign on Facebook, as well as the Let's Reach One Million People campaign for LGBT equality. I've been an activist, writer, speaker, and advocate for LGBT rights throughout the world for a number of years now. Even though I'm Canadian, I'm privileged to have LGBT rights here. There are countries who do not. Today, I'm here to talk to my American neighbors to the South. I hope this will be a wake-up call to all of you. A severe problem exists, and you, my American friends, must be made aware of it. You see, prejudice against the LGBT community is like warfare, in which there is no shelter and everyone is involved. The problem with prejudice and hate crimes is that many people are unaware of what they are. Many people today are disgusted with the concept of slavery and racism towards blacks. But one notion that many fail to comprehend is that they are emulating the Puritan straight-laced beliefs and are prejudiced against gays, lesbians, bisexuals, and transgendered people. Many people are oblivious to the laws that prohibit the LGBT community, the rights that characterize them as human beings. Most of you do not think about your rights, and they are frequently taken for granted. Also, many of you have preconceived notions of how the LGBT community behaves. Attitudes towards our community are overwhelmingly negative. Our lifestyle at times must be hidden and spoken of only in whispers. Being gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender is still a criminal offense in some of the United States. The LGBT community are subject to stereotypes and prejudice. Gay men are viewed as effeminate. Lesbians are portrayed as mannish. Bisexuals as confused. Transgendered. As freaks of nature. All of us are seen as being obsessed with sex with very little self-control or morality. I ask you all to look around. The LGBT community are part of society. People such as your neighbors, co-workers, relatives, friends, and people who you may have known all your life could be gay. Does that make us different? Many people say that the way we live our lives is not natural. But I ask you, what is natural? We are a component of society, and we must be granted equal rights. The LGBT community encounters religious criticism and social injustice every day of our lives. Homosexuals, bisexuals, and the transgendered community suffer criticism from religious groups because some religious texts discriminate against diversified lifestyles, cultures, skin color, and beliefs. Many people support the idea of legal and social recognition of the rights between people of the same gender. But there are some Christians who claim that their opposition to homosexuality and homosexual marriage is written in the Bible. But do we not have the freedom to live our lives as we see fit in this country? Most of our ancestors ran away and traveled to this country to escape the wrath of some religions and their fanatics. Why must some push their religions on other people? Many heterosexual right-wing Christian Americans feel that their lifestyle is being threatened by anything that is different. You know, the book of Genesis doesn't even mention homosexuality in a negative connotation. The Genesis account doesn't forbid homosexuality. It simply doesn't refer to it. A gay couple could hardly begin the population process, that I understand. But the verses in Genesis cannot be seen as a model for all couples. Many heterosexual couples are childless or unable to have sexual relations. Are they in sin because they don't conform to the teachings of Genesis? Well, as well as religious criticism, Gays and lesbians have to endure social injustice. Imagine 
falling in love with the person of your dreams, and you are planning to get married and spend the remainder of your lives together. But what if this person is of a different race? Generations ago, this would have been taboo. But in today's society, it does not appear to be a problem. Does the color of a person's skin change who they are on the inside? Most people do not discriminate against minorities anymore because of the color of their skin. So why do people discriminate against the LGBT community? Because of what's in our hearts? Would you permit the government to command you of whom to love, how to live, and how to feel? Since homosexuals cannot get married, we work harder for relationships. We travel far to get married, and the divorce is very uncommon in LGBT couples. In the United States, many benefits that straight society enjoy, including Social Security, Medicare, hospital visitation rights, special rates, exemptions on tax returns, joint child custody, joint insurance policies, automatic inheritance from a will, making medical decisions on a partner's behalf, and choosing a final resting place for a deceased partner. Unfortunately, the LGBT community is denied these rights. Most heterosexual Americans believe that their way of life is being threatened by anything that is different. Society is terrified of the unknown, and it is this difference amongst people that spreads rumors and distrust. Distrust leads to hate crimes. An example is what I went through as a gay youth. I was walking out of a gay club when a man came up behind me, punched me, and then stabbed me with a knife. Witnesses around me heard the man saying he had to kill the faggot, and this is what gays deserve, and let this be a warning to the gay community. Hopefully, one day we will realize that discrimination involved with denying rights to groups of people. Unless people open their minds and terminate religious and social dilemmas towards gays and lesbians, the prejudice will not desist. Unless we begin to take action and aid mankind to come to grips with who they are, we cannot cease the prejudice towards the LGBT community. People grow up ashamed of their sexuality and try to transform into something they are not. If you want to help stop prejudice and hate crimes against the LGBT community, write to your congressman and let him know your opinions. Be a bigger person than most of society. Accept mankind the way it is. Mankind has been given a gift. It allows us to see past different religions, cultures, beliefs and more important, lifestyles. Some of you may be straight, but don't be narrow. Minded, that is. Thank you for your time, and God bless us all. My name is John F. Schlatter.